Hi all, so in this video we are going to see about the introduction to uh, MongoDB. So the first thing which you have to know when you are actually talking about MongoDB is that you know you should know about this manual. So there is a beautiful manual uh, for uh, documentation for uh, MongoDB man uh, MongoDB. So Mongo MongoDB uh, the latest edition is basically the 7.0 but I basically use the 6.0 which is kind of one of the stable uh, edition uh, edition or the release uh, from MongoDB and 4.4 is also a very uh, stable one but uh, when compared to 4.4 and as considering that it is already in the seventh version probably we could go for the six right and uh, this is the manual structure for uh, uh, MongoDB if you could say everything which is required for MongoDB will be actually given here. So when you look at say why it is called as a document database. So the record in the MongoDB uh, is a document which is a data structure composed of field value pair. So it is a key value pair. So everything is actually uh, explained here in a beautiful manner and MongoDB is similar to JSON object. So it is actually like whatever it is which is actually as a group of key value pair we could actually convert it into a JSON uh, object right. So here when you see that it is name, you or age is to 26, status is to A, group is to, you know, you can have an array there, right? So all these informations are basically connected. So this is just a document, all right? And a collection of document itself is called as a collection, all right? And it has got high performance. So all those initial uh, things are basically high availability, scalability, all those uh, are basically uh, given here. Uh, now there is something called getting started. So uh, to get get started there are two ways one is that you know in the last video we have actually seen about how to install mongodb in our own local system so that we have seen say i don't want to install uh, uh, mongodb in my own uh, uh, my own system you can actually go for this uh, mongo atlas okay so mongo atlas is actually fully managed service for mongodb deployment in the deployments in the cloud so you can go for that no if you are actually working on a higher end systems you can go for mongodb enterprise and otherwise if you want to work it as a as a free one then we can actually go for this community edition so we actually installed and used the community edition in the last uh, uh, last uh, last session so uh, when I'm going to this getting started, you could see that there is an interactive tutorial. So this is for you to just get started with uh, the hands-on lab. So when you click on the launch, okay, it will take some time as it say it is actually teaching you uh, a different, uh, mm, uh, what is that, uh, different um, uh, 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 methods which are CRUD operations which are actually there. So once it is uh, ready, it will show you the start button. You can click on the start and there will be a tutorial at the same time this is the cloud access this is the atlas so you could see here atlas uh, shard so this is the atlas sharding which is actually done and this is where you have to actually work so here actually it is actually very clearly that instructions which is given is very uh, clear and they have uh, also told like what do you mean by this db dot collection dot insert many what will happen so you're inserting new documents into so where are you actually inserting so it uh, what is the name of the collection so all those things are basically given there and now you they are asking you to insert this particular code so when you look at the code itself this is the uh, name of your collection i mean like yeah uh, do, uh, uh, and here it is like title is given uh, year is given genres are given rate is uh, rated is given languages are given release all those information are there like that you have so many documents which are actually given here so in order to copy this the what you have to do is that you don't have to copy a anything you can simply click on this right when you simply click on this and you can actually paste it here so when you paste it here all those things will be given so now after pasting what i should do okay so that is all those instructions are basically very clearly given after you paste the code plus enter enter so when you enter you could see that certain things are actually coming in your picture so this is nothing but this operation basically when you click that it will return a particular indicator or an array so when you look at the array uh, there is an id associated with the array which is unique 
and the successfully inserted item so the the uh, the place where it is actually inserted is also actually given given to you so that means that the items are basically inserted so in the zero this is the first item which is inserted in one it is the second item which is inserted two it is the third item so this is how you will actually do and they have also given you certain uh, small options and uh, uh, to to help you understand that how you can actually troubleshoot this right now if you have completed you can actually give a check okay so well done and you will be you know i mean like this screen is basically terminated and you will be taken to the next challenge so next challenge is basically you know find method find method is basically for querying okay so uh, for querying you know you can actually use this so for each one you are actually given with certain uh, commands over here so when you simply uh, copy that and when you paste it over here uh, when you paste it here those will be actually uh, so uh, find is just to query and if you simply give fa find what it will do is that it will return all the documents in the movie collection that is what basically it will do so it will actually you know give you the complete movie collections which are there in your movie database so when you uh, look at here you could know uh, you could understand that uh, the complete movie collections are actually you know actually given here as object id 1 what will happen object id 2 and uh, this is the way actually it will be represented underscore id right underscore id is the way actually it is actually uh, represented now if you want to run another one okay what you could do is let's say you want to specifically find the movies that were directed by like christopher Nolan. Uh, Nolan sorry uh, then what you have to do is that you can actually copy paste this. so you can actually improvise your comments also as and when required and uh, so here uh, you are going to paste this okay you are going to paste this command and then click enter so you could see that you know these are the movies actually which is actually uh, the director is Christopher Nolan okay so director is Christopher Nolan for only one particular movie which is Dark Knight okay so like that if you want to try each and everything you can actually try say you want to see all the releases that were before 2000 okay so uh, take this code and then what you could do is that you can actually paste it there and see how it works so it will give you uh, the all the movies which are actually before so when you look at the year it is like uh, 22 it's a year is 1942 like that you could see that the year is actually before that okay so this is how basically you will learn so uh, that's it so you can actually go for the next so well done your challenge is done so this is one way where you can actually work with the already existing uh, template which are already there so this is the d delete so you will actually be operating with all the basic CRUD operations here right so this is one way that you can actually progress and you can actually get started with how you can use it but understand this is actually in the uh, mongo atlas mongo atlas is your cloud platform where you have you are not you know you are not doing anything from within the system right so this is one way for you to start with so if you want to download and start working with the cloud atlas that is also possible and uh, so now we will see about how you can actually work with uh, when it is installed in our uh, local system so we have already seen about the installation uh, in the uh, last uh, 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 last class so when you look at the um, d okay when you look at the this pc and in the c you have uh, uh, program files in the program files you have uh, 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 you have mongodb right you have mongodb and you have server and i am using the six and you have to go to the bin in the bin you can see that it is mongo.exe right so if you click on this the server will start running right so this is nothing but you are actually initiating or you are starting your server okay so you could say that the listener it's actually waiting for the message so your server is running now now the other thing is basically you can open it in a new window and there is a folder structure that has to be followed the folder structure is that in the c you should have something called data and there should be something called db right so this is where actually you will actually include or put all your data inside okay now another thing which you have to know is that so data uh, uh, slash db is the folder structure that you have to maintain and then you should have a shell to uh, execute this right so in the c you will have this mongo shell you have an updated shell available you can actually use that but i'm using uh, 1.6 and uh, this is the mongo shell so if you click on this mongo shell exe it will start and it will ask you for uh, you know entering their uh, connection string so the connection string you can simply enter this so it will actually take you to the test db right so if you simply 
uh, type show dbs i mean like all the dbs okay it will show you all the dbs which are already there right so this is where we have actually you know this is the two different ways that you can actually start working with mongodb okay so now we will see about how to uh, uh, keep on working with the mongodb so in the uh, in the website also they have very clearly given you so if you want to start working with the mongo sh what you have to do right so all those things are basically given and if you are using uh, atlas how can you actually connect it and we are actually using the self hosted deployment right so these are the ways all these ways are basically you know given over here now the next one is uh, nothing but so we can go back to the analyze data sorry uh, we are in the database manual so in the database manual we can go to the crud operations so this is the crud operations that we are going to see so when you click on the crud operations itself you know you will understand that the crud is nothing but create read update delete operations create read update delete operations are the crud operations that you can actually perform on a mongodb so it is very very important for you to uh, identify what are the create uh, operations what are the read operations etc so you should know that how you can actually start working with a uh, database how can you actually uh, start working with a database it's very very important okay so now uh, it is very clearly given that okay if you want to start with a create operation you have two different uh, functions or two different methods which are there which will help you to create a new collection so you can insert one connection collection at a time i mean like one document into a collection at a time or you can insert multiple documents into a collection uh, as well all right so if you are using this uh, db dot users db dot users means users is the collection db dot users is the collection into that collection you are inserting one document that is the meaning of it now what is the document that you are actually so the document contains multiple key value pairs right so it contains name su h26 system pending right now uh the other one is the read operation so crud operation the other one is read operation so read is basically for querying the database okay so if you want to query the database always understand that the first function or the first method which you will use is actually find so db dot users this users is nothing but the collection name okay this is the collection name and dot find in find you know you can actually give what is that you have to actually find so age if it is greater than 18 and if the name is 1 and the address is 1 just pick that data and give me and you have to limit it to the modifier of 5 i mean like limit of 5 so i want only 5 documents that is the meaning of it now uh, you can actually query the documents you can query on embedded or nested or indexed documents array documents array of embedded documents all these things are basically possible and you will also see in detail later now comes the update operations in the update operation these are the syntax so you have update one update many replace one okay so this is actually in the new version this replace one so update many we'll just see one of them then we will go and see each and every one in detail later so update many so users other it, it is the name of your collection right it is the name of your collection so users is the name of your collection and update many so in update many you are actually uh, updating uh like which uh, say for that that age who's uh you know who, who is actually greater than uh, less than less than 18 what you have to do is that status is reject you have to set the status to reject okay so that is what actually you are doing so you are updating the documents like that now the final one is actually delete you have delete one you have delete many these are the two functions which are there in the delete operations so we are just seeing the delete many here but we will see each one of them in detail so users is the collection so db dot users dot delete many status reject so whoever has got the status reject please delete those okay so this is how we will actually work with each and every operation so in the in the um, documentation itself actually it is very clear that which all of the operations which are there what all things you are so it is giving you a new a glimpse about what is to be done but we need to start working in detail so what we will do is that we can click on the insert documents when we click on the insert document it will actually take you to a complete description about what is insert one what is insert many right so this is what we are going to use so here in their uh, website itself it's very uh, very clearly said so 
डी बी डॉट कलेक्शन डॉट इंसर्ट वन इंसर्ट अ सिंगल डॉक्यूमेंट इन टू द कलेक्शन सो यू यू शुड वेरी क्लियरली अंडरस्टैंड दैट ए कलेक्शन इज नथिंग बट अ सेट ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स ओके सो यू कैन इंसर्ट ई द वन सिंगल डॉक्यूमेंट और यू कैन इंसर्ट मेनी डिफरेंट डॉक्यूमेंट्स ऑन टू द कलेक्शन दैट इज वाट हियर इज वाट दे आर टेलिंग and now when you look at here so this is the code so db dot inventory so what is this inventory inventory is nothing but the database name okay dot insert one insert one is a function now what all things you are inserting it's exactly like your sql okay so when you are inserting you are inserting the canvas item is canvas so key value pair canvas then quantity is 100 tags you are actually giving it as an array and size you are giving it as a again a list of uh, you know key value nested i mean like uh, uh, array array of key value pairs all those things are basically given now uh, here in mongo db there is a beautiful thing uh, it's as simple as that so this is the mongo shell so this is how you will actually you know copy paste the thing in the mongo shell but if you are using compass directly okay what you have to do so you can click on the it is actually very clearly giving you that you know you can click on this and you can actually copy paste you know what you have to do okay so i will i'll show you about this mongo compass in 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 a in a little bit of a time but understand that there are different options that you can actually use it so now clicking on the uh, insert documents i can actually change it to the mongo shell itself so when you look at the mongo shell this is your uh, insert uh, mini okay so now when you look at here there are different ways that you can actually if you want a go language because there is something called clover db which where you know you use the go language so if you want to convert a mongo db code into a uh, and you have to upgrade it to a clover db you can actually use this uh thing and if you are using the graphical interface you can use this node.js and if you want to change it into python code you can click and change it into python code so all these options are basically available for you uh when you are actually working it in the um, in in their platform itself okay so now what we will do is that we will take the say we we have to first create the uh db so if you want to create uh, the first db what you have to do is that you have to simply give use say uh invent i will simply give invent okay so if you give uh, say invent you have actually created this invent db so now my name is invent db so if i give show i'm inside uh, this thing now so uh, what i will do is that show d bs if i give show dbs you could see that other than inventory i have something called invent as well okay so now what you have to do is that uh, cls okay so clear so now uh, what we will do is we will try to work on certain lines so this is the one so we uh, have this inventory so let me shift to inventory itself so that it is easier for me to work out okay so what i will do is that uh, use inventory inventory okay so i'm switching to inventory database okay so show dbs i will check whether inventory is there yes inventory is there okay cls is for clearing it okay so now what you have to do is that i'm just simply copying this code okay i'm copying this code i'm uh, pasting it here so for pasting here actually it is uh, uh one second it is actually control a i mean like you have to just right click this uh, uh the uh, button that will actually you know copy it simply you know uh left uh, right side of the curse uh, of the key key uh key on in the mouse if you click you know it will get pasted so if you click enter it will say that acknowledged true and inserted id so inserted id so this is the object id so it is actually you know created as a json object okay so json object so uh what we have done is that we can use this uh, uh, up arrow and down arrow in order to uh, get the codes which we have already given so insert one we have item quantity and tag and this is the size okay so when you do that it is actually already inserted okay now uh, uh, another thing is that say if you want to insert multiple items okay say i have to insert multiple items so i'm just copying this so i'm using insert many okay so what i could do is that i'm just right clicking it here so all the items are basically there and i'm just doing it so all the items are basically uh, inserted into this one okay so this is how it is now uh, written a document with the newly inserted uh, values so it is actually kind of overwritten and it is actually giving us the new ones now if you want to 
displayed ma'am i want to know you know what all things are actually d d there in the uh, what you have to do is that see here if i am simply giving the collection inside so inventory dot find dot i am not giving anything in specific i am giving everything right so when you look at here it is very important to understand that the first one which is actually inserted so because i have already inserted a lot many before okay that's fine so these ids are basically unique okay the item name can be item name can be repetitive okay but these names are basically new right uh, sorry unique so you have journal you have notebook okay then you have paper okay uh, you have paper here then when you look at it uh, you have again journal again paper because you know i have inserted it multiple times so that's why okay other than that you know everything uh, will be you know unique ones which will be there okay so probably what i could do is that uh, um, invent uh, i mean like uh, use invent which is not there a anything is th nothing is there actually so if i give uh, instead of invent okay i'm giving invent uh, invent dot find in fact nothing is there inside right now i'm giving a cls okay so i'm in the invent uh, thing so now what i'm going to do is that first i'm going to insert one so first one which i'm going to insert into the invent collection okay invent collection is uh, nothing but the canvas okay so i'm going to invent uh, i mean like uh, give canvas so end and i'm giving enter so one record is there right now the next one is actually insert many okay so i want this so in that i want uh, you know i want to insert journal then i have uh, mat then i have mouse pad right so these are the ones which i have i am just inserting now i am going to use uh, db dot invent dot find so when you look at here you have a uh, yeah when you look at here you could see that the first one is canvas which is the one which we have invented uh, which we have inserted first then we have journal mat and mouse pad these are the data so when you look at here this is the collection so always understand that the collection will start with the square bracket and these are the documents documents will start with the uh, curly braces okay so you have four different documents in this particular collection right so this is the first thing which you have to understand